My Victorinox Compact has been my everyday carry pocket knife for years and I've never found anything to beat it until now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. In this video, I'm going to compare old with new and explain why this compact has been in my pocket for so long. But first, I thought you might like to see what is responsible for dethroning what was the king of EDC for me. Say hello to my new everyday carry pocket knife, the James Brand Ellis. Okay, first let's do a quick recap on why this Victorinox Compact has been my EDC pocket knife for so long. And it comes down to the fact that it has all the tools I need in the slimmest package. This is a two layer Victorinox knife and it contains the three main elements I look for in an EDC knife. And when you combine that, it is the only Victorinox in the range that does that. And the three tools that I really want to see in my EDC knife are clearly a knife is important. Then for me, as some of you will know, if you've watched my other videos, I really value having scissors in my everyday carry knife. And then finally, a screwdriver. This combination tool here also includes a bottle opener. That's not something I insist on because just about every tool within reach has a bottle opener on it somewhere. The other thing to point out is because I'm in the UK, I cannot carry a knife that has a lock-in blade without good reason. In addition to that, again, the UK law states that the knife blade mustn't be over three inches. In terms of size, it can't be too big because it becomes illegal to use, but it can't be too small for me either because then you lose out on practicality. As with every Victorinox knife, you get some extras on here over and above the basic tools. So let's have a look at these and see if these are the sort of things I could be without. Now it's worth mentioning here that always close to hand, I have this. This is my Urban Micro Everyday Carry Kit. And one of the things in this micro kit is another small Victorinox. And it's this one here. This is the Victorinox Manager. So some of the features that I might be missing on the compact you will find exist here. So I'm less likely to worry about needing them on an everyday carry pocket knife. So what am I going to be giving up on? Well, the first thing is this hook. I've never really used this hook, so that's not going to be a problem. And then the file here is actually replicated on the Victorinox in my pack. The next thing I'm going to lose is the corkscrew. Well, I don't use the corkscrew for pulling corks out of bottles much at all, so I'm happy to live without that. It is though quite handy for holding this eyeglass screwdriver. So I'm gonna put this eyeglass screwdriver in my micro EDC kit. There is still room for something this small. Under here, we have a concealed pin, which is useful to have, but that's replicated in my EDC pack. And then that brings us to the scale tools. We have here a toothpick, which I don't really use other than to scrape the earwax out of my earphones, so I can do without that. And then we have a pen. Well, the Victorinox manager in my EDC pack has a pen built in. And then finally, we have the tweezers, and they're also replicated in the Victorinox in my EDC pack. So is there anything missing from the compact? Well, the answer is yes, there is one thing that is clearly missing for a pocket carry knife, and that is a pocket clip. 
But no Victorinox knives come with a pocket clip and I think that is a shame. Now there are a couple of third party options. The one I've been using for the last couple of years is this. It's from a company called Keysmart and it's a pocket hanger that attaches to the keyring loop and allows it to slip into the pocket. Now it actually works really well. It's a bit rattly, I have to say, and it kind of gets in the way of using the screwdriver. It's not what you call a neat solution, but it does work pretty well. There is also another option from a company called Clip, spelt Q-L-I-P, and this attaches with a small screw to the keyring loop on a Victorinox. The only Victorinox it doesn't work on, as far as I can see, is the compact. And the reason for that is, for this to work, the keyring loop here needs to be on the first layer. Whereas with the compact, uniquely, the keyring loop is between the two layers here. So you can't use this clip on the compact, but if you have other Victorinox knives and you want to clip it onto your pocket, then have a look at the clip here. And if you want to know more about any of these items, I'll include links in the description below the video. So now we're getting a good idea of what I'm looking for in my everyday carry knife. It needs a decent blade, it needs good scissors and a flathead screwdriver. It needs to be slim and reasonably lightweight and big enough to be practical, but small enough to be legal. That blade needs to be under three inches and it needs to be non-locking. And finally, it really needs a pocket clip. And this is where the James Brand Ellis comes in. The first thing I will say is that I really like the design on this knife, particularly in this all black version. There are a couple of other color options. One is identical to this with green scales and the other one uses micarta green scales and a plain steel finish. And as you might expect, this has exactly what I'm looking for. The screwdriver is evident here, and this is also a really good scraper and a pry tool. So it actually has a little bit more real world functionality. Then we have the main blade, and this is a very substantial blade. It's a drop point and it has, you'll notice, a partial serrated edge. And some people will be put off by that, but I actually think it adds to the functionality in a pocket knife like this, because this will tackle fibrous materials really well. And that could be cutting away clothing or cutting through a rope, but it could also be cutting through a seat belt. So that could be a bit of a lifesaver. The spring tension on the slip joint mechanism is nice and strong, so that's good to see. And this also has a half stop, and that just adds a little bit to the safety of this knife. Then we have the scissors. And these scissors are, I have to say, really nice. They take some design cues, I believe, from the Victorinox, who generally are known for the best scissors on a pocket knife. But they have a really strong spring tension here, and that makes it really nice to use. And then we have a thumb pad there that is quite thick, so that's nice as well. So these feel really precise, and these could be the best scissors I've seen on a pocket knife. All the tools are really easy to get out on this knife because they have a hole where your fingernail can go. And that is for both the knife and the scissors. Let's quickly see the scissors in action with the standardized paracord test. And basically it should cut through this easily and it does. And it's very precise and it cuts from the tip and it also cuts from the fulcrum. And very few knife scissors actually do it as well as this. I just love the scissors on this knife. The spring tension is really good. The mechanism is great and they cut really well and you can't really ask for much more. When you open both the scissors and the blade and have a look inside, you can see that there's some real effort gone into the engineering of this knife. For example, the G10 scales are placed on top of a chassis effectively and there are holes along both sides on the inside and that looks like there's an effort being made there to minimize the weight but maintain the strength of this knife and when you do try and compress the sides it's absolutely rock solid. 
And then we have the thing that's missing on the compact that is so important, and that is the pocket clip. And the one here is really great for this application. It's deep carry, so you don't really see much of the knife at all. It's wireframe, which is quite discreet. It holds really well, and yet it's easy to pull this out of your pocket it helps with the grippy surface on these G10 scales. So I found this works really well. And you might be thinking, the Ellis is not new. I'm sure James Brand have had this for a while. And the reality is they have had an Ellis knife like this, but without the scissors. Instead of the scissors, the original Ellis had a screwdriver and bottle opener combination tool, a bit like what was on the Victorinox Compact. But in this version, which has just been released as I record this video, they swapped that for the scissors. And I think that is a really good move. The original Ellis also had a locking blade which ruled it out for UK EDC as well. In terms of the steel used here, it's a little bit harder than that used in a Victorinox. It's a Swedish Sandvik 12C27 steel with a hardness rating of 54 to 61. Victorinox is 53. And it's regarded as being tough and holds an edge while it has good corrosion resistance and recommended for hunting knives and tactical knives and high-end chef's knives. So it's not what you call an exotic steel or a particularly hard steel, but that means it's also relatively easy to sharpen and even this serrated edge here can be sharpened with the right tools. Okay and then let's just quickly compare the outgoing and the incoming side by side. In terms of the width at the widest part the Victorinox is just one millimeter wider than the Ellis at 25 millimeters but when it comes to thickness the Victorinox is quite a bit thicker than the Ellis. The Victorinox is 14.8 eight millimeters the Ellis is 11.8 so three millimeters might not sound a lot it's the thickness of around four credit cards and in the pocket it does actually make quite a bit of difference so that's a real win for the Ellis in terms of length they are very similar indeed the Ellis if you include the screwdriver is ever so slightly longer by about four millimeters than the Victorinox when it comes to comparing the blades, the Ellis is much more substantial. The length is about the same, but that's where the comparison ends. They're both drop point, but there's more metal in the Ellis, as you can see. And I think it looks much better as well. Okay, let's compare the scissors. And I've been very happy with the scissors on this Victorinox. And the ones on the Ellis are very similar. The size is about the same. The difference really is the spring mechanism. The Victorinox uses this spring here, which can break and is not particularly strong, although you can replace it. And consequently, it's kind of a bit slower to use. Whereas this one here is a kind of much greater tension. It's more elaborate in the way this tension mechanism works. And it's got this uh, wider thumb grip here. So I have to say the Ellis feels much nicer to use than the Victorinox. And that is quite a statement. The only thing the Victorinox has got over and above the Ellis is that the blade opens wider, whereas the Ellis just opens as wide as we can see here. When it comes to weight, the Victorinox weighs 68 grams, which is 2.43 ounces, and the Ellis weighs 79 grams, which is 2.79 ounces. So the Ellis is 10 grams heavier. And you have to ask yourself why, because there's obviously more tools going on with the Victorinox. And I can only think it's down to the fact that the tools used on the Ellis are more substantial. I prefer the scales on the Ellis too because they are grippier, although I've got nothing against these Salador ABS scales on the Victorinox. They are a classic. But in terms of practical use, these G10 scales are really nice and grippy. Well, are there any downsides for the James Brand Ellis? Well, one certainly is the price. This cost me £119, including tax in the UK, and it sells in the US for $119 plus tax. So the Ellis costs three times more 
than the Victorinox. So that's worth bearing in mind. The other thing that might sway you towards the compact is if you really value the additional tools like the corkscrew or the hook or the scale tools, then that might push you in this direction as well. As for me, I'm happy to pay the extra price because I really feel this is a step up in quality and practicality. And because I'm going to be carrying it pretty much every day for the next maybe couple of years, then I think I'll really get the value from the Ellis. So in conclusion, bigger, better blade, better steel, better scissors even, heavier duty screwdriver with pry bar and scraper, arguably better looks, more compact than the compact, much thinner, more grip, and then there's that pocket clip which wins the day. And that's why this, the James brand Ellis, has become my new everyday carry pocket knife. So I'm excited to see how this works out and I will no doubt feedback with a long-term use video in the future. But I would say that this Victorinox Compact is still a great option, especially considering the price. And if you want to see it in more detail, including how I use it to start a fire, then check out this video here. Thank you as always for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.